No Country for Old Men No Country for Old Men is a dramatic thriller by the Coen brothers, a film adaptation of the novel by Cormac McCarthy. The movie stars Tommy Lee Jones, Javier Bardem, and Josh Brolin. Out of eight Oscar nominations in 2008, the movie received four Film Academy Awards for the category's Best Film, Best Supporting Actor, Best Director, and Best Adapted Screenplay. The film also received a cornucopia of raves from film critics and viewers that considered this movie the Coen Brothers' comeback. In a list written up by the Film Critics Association of Los Angeles to rank the top 10 films of the first half of the 21st century, the film No Country for Old Men ranked fifth, tied with the movie Zodiac. An ordinary laborer discovers a pile of bodies in a desert, a truck stuffed with heroin, and a tantalizing stash of $2 million in cash. He decides to take the money for himself and what follows is a wave of violence ensues that the entire police of Western Texas cannot stop. Did you know, the film was made based on the motifs of the 2005 novel by Cormac McCarthy's No Country for Old Men. The film's title is taken from the first line of William Butler Yeats' poem Swimming to Byzantium. The haircut of the killer Anton Chigurh is taken from the photograph of a brothel visitor taken in 1979. After the haircut was brought to life, Javier Bardem looked in the mirror and shouted to himself, Oh no, now I'm going two months with no sex. The producers negotiated with Heath Ledger for the role of Lou Ellen Moss. However, he ended up turning down the role. The Coen brothers refused to let Josh Brolin try out for the movie, so Josh asked Robert Rodriguez to help him record his audition for the role. Josh's tryout audition was recorded on a camera for a cost of $950,000 with Robert Rodriguez behind the camera. Quentin Tarantino directed the film. There is no original soundtrack in the movie, only at the ending credits does any music play written by the movie. Joel and Ethan Cohen not only produced, screen wrote, and directed the movie, but they furnished it together as well. However, their shared pseudonym is shown in the credits, Roderick James. The Coens like to allude to one of their favorite directors, Stanley Kubrick. For instance, the movie shows the motel room number 114. This number has repeatedly appeared in Kubrick's films in the past. The movie was shot between May 23rd and August 16th, 2006. The Coen brothers tried to not only preserve the spirit, but also the letter of the novel. Most of the dialogues and monologues are uttered verbatim as they were in the book dialogues. The movie was shot at the same time as Paul Thomas Anderson's Oil and the filming stages are located near each other, literally a couple hills apart. Once. The Coens had to interrupt filming because thick smoke made it into the shot from There Will Be Blood's filming set. The action takes place in Texas, but according to the financial records, the film was shot in Las Vegas. Nevertheless, under Tommy Lee Jones' instance, the Coen brothers shot several scenes in the west of Texas. Paul Walker actively pursued the role of Moss. He said he always wanted to be in a film by the Coen brothers and even underwent casting. But the brothers opted for Heath Ledger, and after he refused, they went with Josh Brolin. Attention, the following list of facts contain spoilers. Proceed with caution. The pharmacy that Chigger glows up a car parked on the street by is called Mike Zoss Pharmacy. Joel Cohen and Ethan Cohen spent a lot of time in a pharmacy with that name in Minneapolis in their childhood. Their own movie company is called Mike Zoss Productions. The weapons that Anton Chigurh uses is a gun with a removable striker that is often used in slaughtering. Within the first shots of No Country for Old Men, there is no question as to the genre of the Coen brothers' film. However, the brothers aren't interested in playing by the rules. Shifting the action from the 1880s to the 1980s, the Coens decided not to stop there and turn the western canyons inside out. While it does feature the usual characters for similar movies, a bad guy, something of a positive character, and a sheriff in some godforgotten city. While the bad guys act out their filthy schemes nearby, 
Instead of a stagecoach, there are drug trafficker jeeps full of blow and cash. And instead of Indians, there are Mexicans. And instead of several thousand dollars, there are two million dollars in play. Could an ordinary former welder turned hunter and young cowboy tenderly named Lou Ellen, Josh Brolin, despite his mustache, pretty stern appearance, and in the opinion of one driver, too young to be hitchhiking, really know that what seemed to him to be a lousy case full of $2 million that he found among a bunch of dead bodies would lead to an endless, dangerous chase, the bitter end of several lives, and overtime for the workers at a Texas morgue? Could the drug dealers vying for the money of the short-spoken killer Anton Chigurh, Javier Bardem, really know that they were dealing with an unruly psychopath that with the help of a coin would impose his view of the value of human life hanging in the balance of a fateful heads or tails? Strictly speaking, No Country for Old Men is a high-class horror thriller where the victim needs to escape as fast as he can and the shooter conversely has to catch up. Meanwhile, the Cohen's tension of the chase and the feeling of fear are simply brought to life in flying colors. There is no alarming music. In fact, there is no music at all in the movie. Although every squeak, ruckus, cowboy boot rustle, or even vaunted silence is literally filled with danger. There are scenes that go on for no more than 10 minutes, but when you watch them, it seems that you are squeezing your armrests and grinding your teeth to boot. Tommy Lee Jones has played so many different kinds of sheriffs and federal marshals in his career that the image of a defender of the law fits him like a perfectly tailored suit by a world-famous clothier. The actor knows everything that can and can't be done for characters like these, which in turn helps him create a more than memorable image of a sheriff passively observing events and trying not to get involved in what's going on, grumbling to himself, I'm too old for this shit. But what the viewers will talk about more than anything else is Javier Bardem's character. The man with an absurd haircut, a peculiar sense of humor, and perfectionism in his work evokes no positive or negative emotions. Everything is much simpler than that. When you see Anton Chigurh, all feel is fear and the desire to get out of the city as fast as possible, where the dreaded Chigurh lurks. Bardem in his terrific acting constructed the perfect image of a spawn of hell, an infernal evil that cannot be stopped or killed. The Coen brothers managed to put together intriguing and fascinating movies with their own unique philosophy. This world will be interesting to any generation, be they an old man, a young boy, or a superhuman. The verdict? A film seemingly simple on the surface, but more complex on the inside, which features practically no drawbacks. In a few years, this movie will be looked back on as a modern classic. In a few decades, only the second word in the aforementioned phrase will remain.